Rappers often get one nickname or the other, and these names they get a due to some reasons. In the case of 051 Melly, he was known as the Gravedigger, majorly for his street activities. Let me tell you about the story of 051 Melly, the Gravedigger. Before we start the video, make sure to leave a like and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck! 051 Melly was born Yarmel Williams on the south side of Chicago and was raised in the 600s territory. He attended Duzabo High School where he got his connection with Mikey Cobra, and that would mark the beginning of his 051 connections. During this time, Melly was still in school and still being a cool tough guy. Although Melly was a cool being, he had the tendency of being a tough one because of some of his family members. His cousins was TYMB Courtney and TYMB Cordis. Both of them were allegedly responsible for Chuka's death. His uncle was a high-ranked member of the No Limit crew, NLMB called NLMB G Slim and his stepdad is Golden Jerome, a well-respected member of the Black Disciples who is currently serving life in prison for murder. After Melly's mom died, he moved around with his father and got close with the GDs, although that time Melly got arrested a lot. With his movement around, he got associated with different gangs, which earned him a strong connection and respect on the streets. He started to put in work for his gang around late 2011, and what triggered that was because a 051 member called 051 T Street was murdered by a 600 member called M Thing 600 while he was in his car. That incident started the war between 051 and 600. Before the death of 051 T Street was the death of Zico, who was a close friend of Melly who got killed by THF a key. All of these would make Melly sad and want revenge on his ops taking down his people. T Street's case being the most recent one. Melly was out to get revenge on his ops together with 051 Kiddo. They caught Shaq 600 while he was leaving a party with a lady. They ran up on him, shot him in his head and chest, and took his life. Melly then wrote on Twitter, LOL Shaq was laying next to that garbage can smelling like one. He also wrote, you don't get no cold points for killing a little 14 year old, but who gonna kiss Shaq, ugly ass baby, for him cause his ass dead. Remember, Melly was living in the 600 territory. He was a BD and he allegedly dated Tay's 600 sister and abused her while Tay was there. For real, that was some kind of audacity living in the Ops territory, dissing dead Ops and dating an Ops' sister. The 600s went off in a stay calm. They also wanted revenge on the Ops, so C Day, D Rose, LA Capone, and Tay 600 saw Fathead walking with his cousin, ran up on him, and shot him down. Fathead was a love member of 051, and so his death meant so much to his gang. After Fathead's death, the Ops went to social media to mock their dead eye, and Melly especially. C Day wrote, Who want a Fathead special with an order of Zack Fries? This made Melly mad at that. He wanted to just lay his hands on his Ops, and C Day was the first on the list. The 051 members made him believe that he was meeting someone else. When C Day got to the location, he met with 051 Melly and others who were already waiting for him at the location. As soon as they saw C-Day, they started shooting at him. C-Day, who was lucky and quick to notice that it was a setup, ran away and was able to escape the shooting without getting hurt. The next target for Melly was Tyreek 600. This time, Kittle was the one who got caught up with him and shot him to death. Another man down. 051 wasn't done with their ops. It was time to take down another man, and this time it was L.A. Capone. Capone was an up-and-coming rapper and a famous one in Chicago. He was leaving the studio when 051 Lil Mark saw him and shot him. Capone died from the injury. After his death, 051 Melly would take to social media to state the reason why Capone was killed. He wrote, LA was smoked cause 600 was claiming a body they didn't have shit to do with. R.I.P. Feds. Then Melly admitted to knowing about Capone's death. But the ops won't waste much time. They soon caught Lil Mark lacking at a bus stop. It was D. Rose and Trilla who shot him on his head and torso, but Vaughn was said to be in the vehicle when the shooting happened because at the time he tweeted, in traffic. While D. Rose responded to his tweet, the police hate to see me with you and Troy and four Nim. After Lil Mark's death, Lil Durk, King Vaughn, and others celebrated Lil Mark's death. Lil Durk even went to the bus stop where Lil Mark was murdered and made a video mocking him there. Hey, this, this, hey, 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 this bus stop right here though, this, this, this is a real famous place, you hear me? The video was quite painful to the whole 051, especially 051 Melly. He wanted Dirk dead at all costs. 
probably before then, but it became heated after he made that video to mock Dead Mark. Melly Polly would have tried to get his hands on Dirk, but it was almost impossible to have access to Dirk, anyhow since he had already became a rap star then, and so Melly thought of getting him by targeting those close to him. His first target was OTF Nusky, Dirk's cousin. Three days after Nusky signed a deal with his cousin, he went shopping with a lady and remained in the car while the lady left alone to get what she was there for. Then Melly took his chance and popped up on him. Nusky tried to drive away, but ended up crashing into the front of the store where he died. That was a big loss for OTF and Dirk to be precise. Melly was not done with Dirk. He made his move on another OTF member, OTF Chino, who was Dirk's manager and also his cousin. Chino was killed while he was also sitting in the car. Melly didn't have the fact that he was the one responsible for OTF members' deaths. That infuriated Dirk, as he thought it was time for Melly to go. He wanted Melly dead, and so he put 150 racks on his head. That was a lot of money if you ask me. I bet a lot would have jumped at it. Well, THF Raheem found that attractive, and he tried to get the bag. He saw Melly and another 051 member and decided to take his chance. He shot at both of them, hitting them both in the head, and Melly was also hit in the foot. Fortunately, they both survived, and Melly took to social media to express his feelings about the attack. He wrote that headshot wasn't shit. Raheem didn't get the money and only made himself a target for his ops. In less than two weeks, Melly and 051 Irio caught up with THF Raheem and killed him. An arrest was made for Raheem's murder as 051 Irio was apprehended but never told on Melly. Raheem's story was a complicated one because he was the stepson of a famous Chicago killer, THF Bezu. When THF Bezu found out that Melly killed his son, he became angry and wanted Melly gone. Now Melly had THF and 600 on him, but Melly didn't seem afraid of his ops as he was said to move about well at that time. He was able to do that without getting into problems, probably because of the connections he built while growing up. He was able to bond well with Mubu Crump. Mubu was also Dirk's enemy at the time, although he was initially cool with Dirk as they've been seen in the same pictures and has also been seen on Dirk's music videos until the relationship between them turned south for some reasons. And since the relationship had changed from friendship to enemies, they let us know on social media by threatening each other there. Mubu Crump was well known for counting dead bodies and dissing dead ops on social media. He was therefore known as the scroll keeper for that. And as you must have guessed, his ops won't like him alive. He must have counted THF Raheem as one of the dead ops, so he was also on THF Bezu's list. A day came when Mubu and Meli were together at a party and Bezu thought it was his chance to take out the two people he ate it once and for all. He was allegedly accompanied by Lil Steve and Lil T. They all pulled up on both Meli and Mubu and shot them several times. They were taken to the hospital where Mubu died and Meli survived. Meli was in pain and sadness but his ops didn't care about that. They added more to his pain by killing one of his good friends called Motor from Gyro City. Motor was killed allegedly by 600 after he left the gas station. At that time, 051 clicked up with STL, EBT, and Gyro City to beat 600, O Block, THF, and OTF. It was more like this side versus that, as it was no longer a single gang against another as they shared common enemies. Later, 051 Bankroll Q was killed by Lil Dell and, and Ty. Melly wasted no time at all, and in less than 12 hours, he caught up with Lil Dell and shot him multiple times. He was taken to the hospital where he later succumbed to his injuries. Not long after, Melly caught up with the second guy, Ty. While Ty was in a car talking with his friends, Melly pulled up, rode down, and shot Ty multiple times in his chest. After he accomplished his mission, he then drove off. Melly was seriously gaining respect on the streets by repeatedly dropping bodies of ops for his gang, and also because attempts had been made on his life and it seemed that he could not be killed easily like everyone else. He was respected by his gang members and allies while he was feared and respected by his ops at the same time. There was a time where he was live on Instagram with THF Bezu. They both threatened to kill each other when they ever had the chance, but you can still feel the two have a kind of respect for each other. They sounded nice to each other out of the respect they have on the streets. Even the legendary King Von respected Melly so much when he was alive that he spoke well about him on live. That was unlike Von, right? But even though the ops respected Melly, they still wanted him gone because he was a threat to them, most especially Dirk, because Melly wasn't done with him. Melly attempted to take out the three OTF members at a time. It was D Thang, Dirk's brother, OTF Fresh, and Baby D that were moving together that day. They went to the club, and as soon as they were done, Melly followed them, pulled up beside him, and shot him multiple times. 
The shooting only took one, Baby D, who was Dirk's cousin. How many of Dirk's cousins now? It won't be long before Melly would wipe out Dirk's entire generation at a rate he was moving on him then. And sincerely, it wasn't only Dirk that was feeling that way. Melly was becoming too much for his ops. Melly started feeling himself, seeing the havoc he had wreaked as a big and great achievement, and started calling himself the king of the streets. At the time, he was asked the question, how are you cool with TYMB but hang out with Doug? He replied by writing, cause I'm the king of the streets, baby, I can do what I want. That is to tell you how much Melly rode with his friends' ops and his friends were still cool with him. It doesn't always happen like that, yeah? Melly probably thought about all this and felt that he could die as a legend. He had a feeling he was finna die soon. Either way, he wrote about his death not long before he died. He wrote, when I die, I'ma die a legend. And not long after, Melly was killed. He died, but not by his ops. Remember, there was a connection between Gyro City, 051, STL, EBT, and were also cool with Taekwon World because of their ties with STL, EBT. Melly had an altercation with a Taekwon World member, 007 Nate, about a money issue. And because of that, Melly visited Nate's home and sent him a crazy message by shooting it up. That day, Nate's girlfriend and his newborn were in the house. Fortunately, they were safe, but when Nate found out, he was mad about the whole thing. What if his child was hit? What if his girlfriend had died due to the unreasonable thing that Melly did to his home? And so Nate decided to look for Melly to end it once and for all. 051 Melly was attending a party that night in memory of a beloved STL EBT member called Get Right. He hated to be called Can't Get Right. 007 Nate pulled up to the party and shot Melly multiple times. This time, Melly didn't escape death. He succumbed to his injuries. Melly's death was painful not because he was killed with a gun or shot like that, but because he had a child that is now an orphan because a month before Melly died, his son's mother also died in an accident. Now the poor boy is all alone too. After Melly's death, his ops rejoiced, even though they didn't kill him. They were happy that he was gone and expressed their feelings about his death on social media. The way and manner of Melly's death led to 051, Taekwon, STL, EBT, and Gyro City breaking their ties because the 051 members believed that Melly was set up since he was invited to the party by STL members. Alright guys, there you have it, the story of 051 Melly the Gravedigger. Let me know what you think in the comment section about the kind of life Melly lived. You can join the ongoing conversation or initiate a conversation in the comment section. Hey you, yeah you, you like the video? Great, we got another one for you that we guarantee you'll like. And all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees, but you have to click on fast because this message will self-destruct in five seconds.